What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I decided that it was a good idea to do a leg day on the same day that I decided to quit coffee. Pray for me. Real quick, before we get into this video, I wanted to mention the accountability challenge coming up on January 29th. So if you're trying to lose five to 10 pounds, be consistent with your habits and create a lifestyle shift, but you can't seem to stay on track or you're losing motivation or you're on and you're off and it's not working out for you, I think this would be a really great challenge for you. It's completely free. I think challenges are really fun to hold you accountable, to get you motivated, to have guidelines, to have people to do it with. So I love challenges. It's gonna be a 21 day challenge. So I'll give more information at the end of the video, but signups will be next week. So just stay tuned on my social medias for the signups. Let's get into the video. Today, I'm doing legs. It's day one of no coffee. So my head's been hurting all day. But we're here in the gym and we're gonna freaking do the damn thing. Okay, so. Wait, my brain stops working. We're gonna wrap out 15. Oh, bro. I do not recommend doing that when your head is pounding. It's like each rep, my brain was like counting the reps for me. It was like one, two. Yeah, Al. Only doing three sets. So I don't know if I talked about this on my channel yet. Well, I don't think I have, but we changed the program. The volume was a bit too high for me. I was just getting really tired and I wasn't really recovering. So new program, four days a week and lowering the volume a little bit, going a little bit lighter. Um, that just seems to be working better for my body. It's just giving my body a little bit more time to recover. So you really have to listen to your body and figure out what's working and what's not. Next is hyper extension for the glutes. Oh my god. I'm not doing these. Because all the blood's rushing to my head. So we're gonna substitute for this exercise instead. So we can not skip out on the gains. I like this song. I need to Shazam it. Pause. One second. Kodak Black. My oh, guy. Okay. That's it. I feel like this workout is going toward good karma. I didn't want to work out. My head hurts. I had all the excuses not to do it, but I'm doing it. So. Mm. Okay, I don't go heavy on hip thrusts at all, so. We're not gonna judge a girl on this. I know hella girls do like two plates, three plates. That's just not me. I never feel it in my glutes when I go above 25. I never feel it in my glutes. We're gonna focus on my muscle connection. 
And that's how we be training these days. <laughs> I feel like it should be bigger, no? That's nice though, it's a good shape. Aww. <laughs> this is how I set up. God. Pray for me. RDLs. I feel like I've tried it where I do it in one hand and then I switch it and do it in the other. I feel it the best when I just hold it with both hands. We're going up in weight, baby. Right now. What? You got a jawline and a half right Which side? Both. Oh. What did the TikTok girls do to make fun of the TikTok boys? Back upstairs. Now we're finishing off with, I'm grown now, so I'm not gonna call it what I used to call it. Good girls, bad girls. These are my favorite exercise in the entire world. Hey, You smell like goldfish? Let me smell you. Why? I want to smell you now. <laughs> Is this you do smell like goldfish. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right, everybody. We are done with legs, and we are now going to do a set of ping pong because it's just a ritual here at the lab. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Good morning, you guys. It is day two of not drinking coffee. So for 2024, one of my goals is to quit coffee. 
Why you may ask, why do you want to quit coffee? Coffee's amazing. I feel like it's been building up anxiety potentially in my body. I feel like it could be affecting my hormones. So I want to try to see if maybe this is a part of that at all. Maybe it'll help bring some clarity and natural energy back into my life. And I just feel like I want to live a little bit more naturally and clearly I'm reliant on coffee. I go one day without drinking coffee and my brain literally feels like it wants to explode out of my eyeballs. It's just a different type of headache and it's not fun. One day not drinking something and I feel like I can't function, that's not good. I don't wanna be reliant on anything. I wanna be able to feel my best when I'm just in my natural state. So that's why I'm trying to quit coffee and see if I notice any benefits. So I'll keep you guys updated, but today's day two. You're drinking coffee? This is my second one. If I'm drinking no coffee, you're not allowed to drink coffee. So what do I do if I don't drink coffee in the morning? What am I supposed to do? You drink uh, green tea. My... Are you gonna answer? I feel like my brain has to relearn how to function at a slower rate without coffee, like at a normal rate. And to be clear, one cup of coffee in the mornings, it's not like I'm someone who drinks coffee throughout the day or multiple coffees throughout the day. And this is how much I feel the effects of not having it. Don't have it. No, like I could not function yesterday and my head felt like it was gonna explode. Majority is in your head. It, it was not in my head. All right, I just pulled up to the gym and no headache today. Day two, no coffee. Thank God. Brain just has been out of it all day and I've just been a little bit down, but I'm glad that there's no headache. Some of you said that... <laughs> So it's been two and a half weeks since I cut out coffee. Those first two days, especially that first day, was brutal. I wasn't sure if I was gonna just be doing no coffee or no caffeine. So I did end up having matcha like two or three times since I cut out coffee. And I think it might be a caffeine thing. I'm still gonna play around and experiment a little bit and everybody's different. But for anyone who feels like maybe their body's sensitive or they feel like there's anxiety just building up in their body or they're getting overwhelmed easily, it could be the caffeine. I've been feeling much better and just more creative and having natural energy and being in a better mood more often. So we'll see over a longer period of time and I'll keep you guys updated. But so far, I'm really happy that I cut out coffee even though I loved my morning coffee so much. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to replace it with. I've been having a lot of tea lately, but if you guys have ever cut out coffee and have noticed the benefits and have stayed off or have something that you drink instead, let me know in the comments below. I will continue to keep you guys updated. Also, just a reminder for the challenge, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to have a group of girls who want to hold each other accountable, get on top of their goals. Sometimes the beginning of the year is not the best time to start on goals. So if you're kind of ready to do something fun, get on top of your goals and do it with a group of girls who are just trying to do it together, stay tuned for the sign up dates. I'll have more information on that, but it's totally free. It's going to be fun. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.